All right, how's it going today, everybody? All right, I got Sunday, the 31st of July, 2020. Hope everybody's had a, having a great day today. Actually, we got an overcast here in Las Vegas. It's about, I don't know, 3 o'clock today. Man, it was a hell of a week. Work-wise, man, it's been real bad. Thunderstorms. If you want to come out here, you may want to consider bringing a raincoat. I mean, because the way it is what is called monsoon season. And it's much needed out here, but during in, in the afternoon, what it is is about four o'clock, maybe for like two to four hours, it rains and there's really bad uh wind and all that. Okay, and what they call flash lightning. It's very, very dangerous. But let's get right into it, okay? It's my understanding that Bill Russell uh passed away, yeah, NBA legend. Definitely the greatest legend of all time, okay? And more than likely in any sport, okay? I mean, no no doubt, okay? It's not even no debate about it. But uh, he's passed away today uh, at 88 years old, okay? Uh, it's to my understanding because, I, you know, I work with a lot of clients doing Uber, about a year ago, I ran into a guy. He was like 84 years old and uh, did bowling and stuff like that. That knew that was in the uh, Bay Area said that Bill Russell was quite sick about a year ago. So, you know, I guess this day has came for, you know, the guy, you know, to call him and say, hey, you know what? It's time to come on home there, big fella. Uh, a little bit about uh, Bill Russell. Uh, he... I did read up on him. He's from Louisiana, but he uh, one, at one time moved to he moved to uh, at some time sometime Bay uh, the Bay Area as a, I think a teenager. Okay, uh, I think him and he had a brother and all that, uh, and he did have a two parent home, and he was good enough to get a, a, a basketball scholarship in San Francisco. I heard that he broke all these records, these NBA records, I'm sorry, NCAA records, but didn't, the school wasn't quite accredited like that. It, it was crazy how to say it because it wasn't accredited with the NCAA at the time, okay, to where his stats couldn't even be counted. But he was, you know, drafted for, for the Boston Celtics, and this guy went through all kinds of racial turmoil why he uh, played 12 seasons out there in Boston, Massachusetts, where they call him all kinds of names, you know, racist names, you know, like nigga and spirit, spirit chucker. But pretty much every year except one year, he won an uh, NBA championship. He also coached for a while, too. Uh, I believe for Golden State. I think he coached for Boston. He was, a, uh, he was the first player coach. I do know that, okay? I read a lot about him, you know, when I was a young basketball player and, and all that. Didn't really get a chance because he retired in the late 60s and I, was, well, I wasn't born until 1971. Um, I want to leave you one story that my uncle used to tell me, you know what I'm saying? Like, my uncle seen him play. He's 81 years old, but him, my dad, which is my, you know, my dad's brother, and I had another uncle. The Warriors used to be in Philadelphia back in the day, okay, which is now Golden State. And when they moved to uh, Oakland in about the latter 60s, okay, they left Philadelphia. And the A's used to be there, and the A's. The Warriors and the A's used to be in Philadelphia. But anyway, they went to a few games, and at the time they were like $5, 10 to go to the games. And... The NBA had exceptional talent even back then, but, you know, it wasn't like a cash cow the way it is now where it's like two, $300 to see a ticket, you know, with the Warriors or the Celtics or that type of thing, okay? But, you know, he used to tell me that he's seen Russell and Will Chamberlain play, which Will Chamberlain died, I believe, in 99 or 2000. And when those guys would get the ball – it was like everybody would freeze, even the point guards. Both teams, other than those two, would freeze just to see what type of moves they're going to make against each other. 
Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain. And I do know out of those one years, Will Chamberlain won. And if my memory serves me right, the year that Will Chamberlain won that uh, championship, when, you know, with all, after all those battles, Bill Russell was the finals MVP for a losing team. So those are some of the stories that I know I can remember as a kid where he used to uh, do the commentary for, like, the dunk contest where they had, like, Dominique and uh, Michael Jordan and all that. But, you know, I've heard a lot of great stories of him, but just imagine being those days of what people had to go through and then you get people who still complain. I mean, I think that the, in this day and age, when you hear about the stories that these guys, uh, go, uh, this guy went through, all right, and again, I've read a lot of articles and watch a lot of YouTube videos and hear a lot of stories from other people, you really don't uh, realize how good you got it. And you know how much those guys were getting paid back then? What, $25,000, $60,000. He was one of the highest paid players at the time making $60,000, okay? That's just as much as average, you know, uh, work, uh, the middle class work, okay? The average job pays $60,000 now. But you know, I know that's in a different time, and now what? They're playing with, what, $2 million in the NBA for what? The start, uh, that's what, base salary, I believe is what? $1.5, $1.9 million, that's base salary, okay? These guys are making what, 40, 45 million a year now? I believe Steph Curry and LeBron James. And yeah, you know, I understand they, you know, they have things to complain about, but just imagine back then when in the 60s where Bill Russell, you know, he was a civil rights activist and so forth. And there were really things, uh, really, uh, things were really uh, tumultuous. Him, Muhammad Ali, you know, those guys who worked with other you know, civil rights activists for the most part. He also I re, uh, played with Casey Jones. That was a point guard. Casey Jones passed away like a couple of years ago. But for the most part, I mean, look, that's the way you want to go out, man. You want to go out close to 100 years old with your kids, grandkids around you, all right? I'm thinking maybe if he didn't go uh, through so much, he would have lived through 100. But I'm just thinking he did live – a long life for an athlete, you know. Um, but these these days you got guys in their 30s, 20 years old dying, these rappers. We had one just the other day, 24 years old died, you know, over what? Probably over nothing, okay? But this is just to be a symbol of, of the way that you want to go out, all right? And for the most part, rest in peace to Bill Russell. And my regrets go out to his family. I think he's got a few kids. Uh, and y'all try to enjoy the day to day, okay? And just try to reflect on his life. And, you know, maybe you want to pattern yourself to where you can live a long, healthy life. I know that I'm trying to, you know, I'm 51. So, you know, I'm hoping I can make it at least 85. You know what I mean? So I think I got quite a bit of living to do, all right? At least that long or a little bit longer. All right. Let me know what you think about this video, y'all.